First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, salutations to the hopeful elect that's fighting a good fight of faith and truth and sincerity and wholeheartedly. Shalom to the Akwa, which is the women believers. Shalom to you. And they say, as his ways are plain unto the holy, so are they stumbling blocks unto the wicked. And you can plainly see that people cannot get this truth. They don't want to get this truth. And when you speak the truth to people, it really, really gets under their skin. I never seen so many people who professed to believe in God. But then when his word come out, it's a problem. So Matthew 11 and 6. That's why Yahweh Shah said, blessed is he whosoever not offended in me, because he is the volume of the book. The book is written of him. He is the savior. So, you know, as I look into life and, you know, I, I watch shows and things like that. And people still talking about 10 years from now, 20 years from now. We got Esau Edom talking about 2050, you know, so everybody's talking about the future and um, nobody take account of what the Lord had planned, you know? So, you know, it's, it's stumbling blocks because this devil did a good job of making people believe in the American dream and that you can actually prosper in this place. But the thing is, if you do prosper in this place, you're going to have to bow down to him. And you're going to have to do what he say because you are borrowing his money. That's why his face is on it. All right. And that's why he could put interest on it. He put interest on his money because you borrowing it, you know. So his whole money system is dealing with debt, debt and inflation, you know. So that's why you can never get ahead. And then, you know, going into selling your soul because our people still aspiring to be rappers, even though the Lord is whacking them every day by the hundreds every year. Go from 19 all the way up to now, see how many rappers die. It's like a thousand, you know, um, hundreds every year. But um, and then you still got our people still want to be actors and entertainers or whatever it may be, which is you have to go through rituals. Hollywood, you know, the industry, so many whistleblowers about the industry, but our people just don't give a damn. They still want to go down that route because they want they want this. They want Esau's blessing. They don't want the blessing that the Lord have in store for them. So this truth is a stumbling block. So that's why as his ways are plain unto the holy, so are they stumbling blocks unto the wicked. So let's get one thing clear. So. <clears throat> Matter of fact, let me get Ezekiel first. Because every time you see the wicked, it don't mean that it's talking about Esau, Edom, Malachi 1 and 4. Esau, Edom is the border of wickedness. That is the wicked. Yes, the several claim white people since 1681. That is the wicked that the Bible speak of. But you also have wicked in Israel. So, son of man, I have made you a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. It said that he is a prophet. All right. That's what a watchman is unto the house of Israel. What the next verse say, when I say unto the wicked. Now, when you go to Hebrews 12, 16 and 17, it said that Esau is no place of repentance is found for him though he carefully sought it with tears. So it's no repentance for Esau Edom. So how can the Lord say, when I say unto the wicked, you should surely die if you give us him not warning. So the Lord is saying, if you don't warn the wicked of Israel about what's about to come to pass, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at your hand. So 
just uh, I just wanted to show this because every time you see the wicked, it don't just mean Esau Edom. And the reason I got that scripture, because the scripture I wanted to get next. So as his ways is plain unto the righteous, they are stumbling blocks to the wicked, right? So when you get Daniel's, or Daniel 12 and 10, many shall be purified and made white and tried. That's the elect. And it said, but the wicked shall do wickedly. And none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. So, <clears throat> Of course, Esau, Edom, they can't understand because they literally was made to be the wicked, but also two thirds on this go around. Two thirds of Israel is going to be cut off and die. Zechariah 13, 8 and 9. But the third is going to be left therein. That's the one that's going to be purified and tried and made white, which is symbolized with righteousness. Going through the trials and tribulations that we're about to head into. <clears throat> and even now, you know. We're going through trials and tribulations right now, you know, catching all the vexation, uh, hearing the filthy conversation of the wicked being vexed, you know, um, and just we still in his flesh. So we, we're practicing righteousness to the best of our ability, but we still have a wicked heart. We still have wicked desires. We still go through things that people in the world go through. But the Lord had gave us a different spirit to practice abstinence and not be obstinate obstinate means to be stubborn and saying i don't give a damn i'm gonna do what my heart desire so we practice to not do that we fall short but the lord keep us going as the scripture said a righteous man fall of seven times which means a completion in the number it could be an infinite many times all right but he get up again but the wicked you know go into mischief so they continue to keep on sinning which is called iniquity um so the wicked man on this side, and I'm talking about um, Israel, they can't get it. They wasn't made to get it, you know, and that's why Proverbs 11 and 21, it said, though join hand in hand, the wicked shall not go unpunished. Who is joining hand with the wicked? Our people. So if you cleave on to him, you're going to get his judgment. Fire is going, a lot of Israelites is going to be burnt on fire, man. They're going to be. Burnt on fire, man. Um, and I meant to say set on fire, burnt on fire. Wow. But anyway, set on fire. Because as the scripture says, as his ways is plain to the holy, they are stumbling blocks unto the wicked. So when we speak this truth, we're trying to tell them like, look, you an Israelite, repent, come back to the Lord. Hey, the Lord about to destroy this place. Everything that you dreamed of is about to be burnt up. Revelation 18 and 17, this place should go out in one hour. All right. When the nations shoot fire on this place, it's over with. Your American dreams just went up in smoke, literally. So repent, come back to the Lord that you may be saved. Oh, no, nah, fuck that because I got to get this money, dog. I got to do what I got to do. I got to get out here, you know, chasing these harlots. Hey, these harlots do look good. All right. But they fake. 20 pounds of makeup on their face, cum lashes, you know, big ass peacocks for eyelashes and shit, you know, but hey, our people have been enchanted. Now, when you go to the um scriptures in Numbers 23 or 23, it said no divination and enchantment against Israel. Let's talk about the elect because our people was definitely enchanted. That's why they took the serpent oil. All right. That's why they put their they left hand in and their left hand out to take the hokey pokey. All right, because they trust in this place and they don't got no faith in the Lord. So what is that? Eight and eight. <clears throat> it said all the words of my mouth are in righteousness. There is none for or perverse in them. So everything that this word have to offer is righteousness. You know, men. They think they know everything. You know, I'm talking about the ones who don't got the Lord. The Lord is the one that created everything and, and have a blueprint with it, a.k.a. instructions. But men think that they know what's going on. They think that they created themselves. They think that they can just treat the earth the way that they want to. Now I'm talking about Esau Edom because Esau Edom is a man. He's the base man, as the scripture call him. And he thinking that he God. That's why everything that he touched. 
it don't profit you. He creates death. He don't create life. That's why you eat GMOs and tamper water and breathe in uh, toxic oxygen. He shoots all these chemicals into the air to manipulate the weather and all these chemtrails to get you sick. Like this man, he's just, as the scriptures say in Revelation 11 and 18, destroy them which destroy the earth. He destroys everything. He is the harbinger of death. So this man, you know, he think he can engineer life. That's why he got something called geoengineering. All right. And geo means related to earth. So he trying to re-engineer the earth. He even trying to re-engineer people. And that's what goes into the karagma, the technology that they're trying, the digital implant. But verse nine said they are all plain. What? This truth, this words that's in this book to him that understand of and write to them that find knowledge. Because once we came into the sanctuary of the Lord, which is the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, we understand that, yeah, this is the way to go. Like, there's no other way. You got, you know, the devil, he give you the illusion that there are many ways to go. It ain't just one way. The Lord said in John 14, that is only one way. He is the life. He is the door. All right. And can't nobody come to the father but through him. All right. So, matter of fact. Repentance is closing each day. It said, then they should be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways and they have cast them away. Despitefully shall dwell in torments. What do that mean? A lot of people is going to be reserved for the hellfire that's coming on the earth because they don't want to repent for as for such as in their life have received benefits that have not known me. See, you chose. See, ignorance, as they say in the world, is bliss. You know, it's exciting to be ignorant. But see, ignorance is a choice. All the things that you look up when you go to Pornhub, <laughs> all right? All, uh, when, you, when you want your new Jordans, when you want to go and find out what a word means. I mean, that's very rare for Israel, you know, but just anything, anything that you look up, anytime you go to the search engine on Google, you have the opportunity to find out the truth. The truth is out there. You choose to not hearken. You choose to not go into the way what is right because you know that is right because your conscience convicts you. Hebrews 4 and 12. This word is a two edged sword. It pierce, it pierce your heart, man. Once you hear this word, it shows you how filthy you are and that you need a savior. But what you do, instead of being humble, you get prideful. Ah, whatever, that ain't true. Or it, you know that is true, but you just so rebellious. You just say, fuck it, I'm going to continue to do what I want to do. Instead of being humble, you get mad and become a worse demon. So it said, for such as in their life have Receive benefits have not known me. And this is not money per se. You know? Because you got a lot of people who just comfortable in whatever that they doing. That's a benefit to them. You know? Smoking. Drinking. Sleeping with harlots, popping pills. Chilling, playing PlayStation or Xbox all day. That's a benefit to them. Because the Lord requires you to change your life. Become a man. Stand on your toes, teach the word, believe in the word, practice the righteous acts. You know, every man is not a prophet, though, but at least rehearse the righteous acts. And by doing that, so if you're not teaching, then one of the things that you should be doing is reading a lot, watching videos a lot, constantly being fed. Because if you don't teach, then what are you doing? You just go to work and watch a video and play a video game and go to sleep. That's not enough, man. That's not enough. All right. Even um, Paul told Timothy, teach them that are able to teach also. So um, in this set, in that verse 11, and they that have loathed my law while they yet had liberty. See, this is going with reincarnation right here. See, the same spirits of old is back. That which is 
That which was then is that which shall be. Ecclesiastes 1 and 9. It's nothing new under the sun, all right? Nothing new. That means even your spirit. And they that have loathed my law while they yet had liberty and when as yet a, re a place of repentance was open unto them, they understood not but despised it. And that is what's going on today. So when the men of the Lord is on the highways and byways and you see those same men of the Lord out there week in, week in, out, year in, year out, you walk past them, you talk shit under your breath, you make faces at them, you wave your hand at them. That's you. Uh not taking your repentance serious and that's you being a demon because you're being a scoffer you uh, a scoffer is a person who make light of something you don't take it serious you know you want to walk after your own lust you think that oh that just men out there that just disgruntled blacks disgruntled blacks out there disgruntled disgruntled um latinos and native americans out there they need to get a job they they, they just angry Get some money, nigga. That's that that that's how people look at us. The scriptures say we are already rich. All right. See, the riches in this world is uncertain, as the scripture says. Watch one day you're gonna wake up and everything that you thought was um real, like this like this paper money, is going digital anyway. So um you didn't repent, man, when you had the liberty to. And the men of the Lord are still out here, which means that repentance is still open seek ye the lord while he may be found and it said the same must know it after death by pain what do that mean the same must know it after death by pain so as a matter of fact let me just get the scripture to back that up the same must know it after death by pain right Marvel not at this, for the hour is coming in which all that are in the grave shall hear his voice. And shall come forth, they that have done good unto resurrection of life, that is those who die in the Lord, they should be risen first. And they that have done evil unto resurrection of damnation. So, when the Lord said come up hither, it's going to be righteous men in the grave and wicked men in the grave. You probably die from a famine. You probably die getting, you know, killed by the sword. A, a, a beast got you. You got to wake up and feel that smoke. All right. The Lord is not playing, man. You're dealing with the king of terrors. Allah shod you, man. Demon like power. So, hey, man. Time to repent every day. You wake up. We're closer to the devil coming down with great wrath because he know he had but a short time. So hopefully this video is edifying and shallow on.